Hello and welcome to this series where I show and explain how a violin is built. Today we are finishing the ribs, the upper and the lower part, and we are going to glue the linings. Making the upper and lower part of the ribs is the same as making the C's, that's why I'm going to speed this up. As you see the ribs are ready all around. For the bottom part I used a single piece so there is no joint in the middle. It's the first time I do it like that and I have to say that I like the result because there is no joint, only the end pin is going to go in and you won't see anything else. Now I have to flatten the both, both sides uh, because of course the, the ribs are uh, wider than the blocks. I will do that by using a plane to take off the, the most part and then using the sand paper uh, as I did for the blocks. As you see here and also here, the bird eye wood breaks very easily when you are using the plane. Here you see also these bits. That means that when I'm going over it with a plane, it doesn't get cut as it should, but it breaks because the, the structure of the wood changes in these points. That means that I think I'm going to leave the, the plane and I will use only the sandpaper. Fortunately I cut the upper and lower part before I glued it. Only the middle parts are wider than they should be. So it won't be too much. But I think that I will do everything with uh, the sandpaper and not the plane anymore. As you see the ribs are ready now. They are at the height they have to be. I also cut my finger and uh, now we are going to go ahead with the next step which is to bend and glue the linings. Normally when you are using this method you glue firstly the linings at the back side then you glue the back and take off the mold and glue them on the upper side. But this time I want to do it the other way around. I will glue them at the top part and why I'm doing that I'm going to explain you later. It has to do with the fitting of the scroll on the ribs. The purpose of the linings is to make a bigger uh, gluing surface on the, for the top and the back. The ribs are only 1.2 mm thick and that would be not enough. The top of the back could come easily off. With the linings it becomes 3 mm and that's good enough. But let's have a look how I made them. First of all, I will cut a couple of slices out of this piece of willow. These are the two slices, now they are a bit too thick. I am going to bring them to measure and I will use the paper sander. They have to become about uh, 1.8 millimeters. Now I'm going to cut them again in pieces of one centimeter wide. Now 
I have to do one last thing and that is make one side of the, of the linings a bit thinner. Uh, let me explain you what I mean. Let's say that these are the ribs. The linings are going to be glued in the following way. But all this wood here doesn't do anything. But it's heavy. And in an instrument we need as less weight as possible. That's why we make the linings like this. And all this wood has to go away. And to do that I will use this small plane and a piece of wood. As you see the lower side is as thick as it was and the upper side is much thinner. This part has to go a little bit in the block, so I'm going to cut a small piece of the lining and a small piece out of the block. This part is just okay like that and I don't need to do it anything, only cut the correct length. Finally I can glue the linings on the ribs, I will do that with the usual warm glue and I will fix them in place with these cloth pins with a piece of rubber on them. I know that a lot of people like that, I have posted pictures of this in the past and I got a lot of funny comments. Anyway, this is a very good way to, uh, to fix them and they are very cheap, so it works perfectly. Now they have to dry so I will leave it like that for a couple of hours and then I can take the cloth pins off and finish the upper side of the linings. The linings are ready, you can see them here, but they are a bit higher than the ribs and I have to take this extra wood off. I will do that with the plane and the sandpaper. That's it for this video. The ribs and linings are ready. I don't have to do anything anymore here until much later. Next time we are starting with the top and the back. They are already here waiting. I hope you liked the video. If you did so, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe so you won't miss any of the upcoming. And share so everyone can see how their instrument is made. Bye bye!